Hello? Hello? Uh, Hi, hello? Can I, speak, can I speak to Marilyn, please? She's not here. Oh. Sound... <laughs> Sounds like it was her. I'm going to call her back and just start off with that I'm from QVC. Grumpy old people. Hello. Hi, I'm Jim. I'm calling from QVC. Is Marilyn here? It's me. What do you want? I'm busy. My God, I'm... Oh. Hi. No, no, I, I apologize for calling so late. I'm calling from QVC Customer Service. How are you doing tonight? Not really good, I'm telling you. <laughs> I got okay. pain all over. I'm sorry? I says, I'm in pain. I really am. That's why I just... And one of my phones is dead. It, when I answer it, nobody's on the other end. I don't know what's wrong with it. Oh. Gotcha. Well, well ah. ho hopefully, hopefully this uh, th this won't ruin your night. But um, I, I just wanted to follow up on a uh, a letter that you received a while back about uh, our return policy with QVC. Yeah. What's your problem? I just seen on TV they make eighty million dollars a day. Yes. And they squawk about a letter that. Uh, they send me a letter saying that I'm uh, I'm returning too much stuff. Yes, well, I got it. Oh God! Well, I'm, uh, and then even tells you, right, even I, tells you you can return it. Right, I I understand your frustration, and um, yeah, well, well, usually how that works, I'm not too sure on their exact policies. I just I I just make the calls. Um, yeah. But usually businesses and stuff has a restocking fee, which you know. QVC, I as as far as I know, doesn't usually. Do. Oh yeah, like I know, like yeah, like they can't afford it, right? Yeah, so so if you, so if people keep sending stuff back, then um, then you know it's keep just sending be stuff. If something is the false advertising, right? Which was one of the things I got. Which that first thing that was the big items. Most of the items were smaller items, but that one um, fireplace thing that I sent back. Right. It said right on TV that you can put stuff on the top. It's cool to the touch. And when right. I got it, it distinctly said you can't put nothing on top. Don't touch the top. It's very hot. So I sent it back. And that was like uh, well, a couple of hundred dollars. Okay, other stuff I sent back, it either didn't fit me or it wasn't like it was. It didn't operate right. I mean, I don't know if I like it or keep it. If it works right, I'll keep it. Right. I kept the mattress. I kept the, that other fireplace thing I bought. But did that work okay? But if it isn't gonna, why should I be discontent with stuff I buy? And it, it's crap. Right. Well, well, it, it doesn't seem like that's gonna be a problem anymore because uh, I I was told to call and say that QVC is putting you on the like a, a block list where they'll no longer accept orders from you. Oh, good, great. That's great. I'm fine with that. I'm very fine with that. Okay, and and like I said, that's just that's just. That's just my job, and you know, hopefully, you know. I know maybe, that's your job, right? Maybe right. if uh, you know, I can maybe put in a good word and, and see what happens. But I mean, my my personal thing well, is just know, to be. I, you know what? I know I know that's your job. <laughs> Let me tell you, when when they have, when they brag that they make eighty million dollars a day, and then they squawk about stocking fees and and well, my. And, I can't believe. I mean, they've got business from all over the United States, all over the world, and then these right. profits well, and they turn. Well, well, let me, because I think my uh, my supervisor is still here. He's he's actually about to leave soon. He's actually the man in charge of that stuff. So if you want to uh, want to speak to him about that, give him you know a, a piece yeah. piece I of your mind. Care. I can I can transfer you because like I said, I just I just make the calls, but he actually makes the decision. Well. I'm telling you one thing, it's not going to do me any good because you're going to do that to me anyway, so I, I don't even care about that place anymore. I mean, they tell you right on the TV that you can get 30 days to return and make such a big thing out of being satisfied with your product, and then when you're not, then they squawk about it. Right. That's not a business to run either. I'm sorry, but uh, just take me off. I'm satisfied with that. Well, let me, well, let me, I, I can't physically do that, but let me, let me transfer you to my supervisor. His his name's Brandon, and you'll be able to. Uh, uh, I think I think he's free now. So just hold on for like not even fifteen seconds, and he'll he'll be on the line. You'll hear like two beeps, and then he should pick up. Oh, all right. All right. Please hold.
Hello, this is Brandon. Hello, this is Marilyn Ninfo. Hi, how are you? I got a complaint. Okay, what's your complaint? You're complaining about me, or if you want to take me off, which I don't care one bit. Uh, but the, po the point is, I was letting off steam to your whoever that guy was. This is his job. But uh, I says, uh, what, what kind of uh, they brag when they're talking about QVC? That when they make eighty million dollars a day, they squawk when I send something back. I'm sending yes. too much back. Well, yes. if something doesn't work yeah. out for me, or it's I. Doesn't it doesn't work or it's not doesn't fit right or well, it's false advertising? You just kind of deal it, with it. If you keep sending stuff back, that that's gonna make. Well, I'm not gonna keep money. it. Well, why should I pay for it and and I pay for it and I don't can't use it? Does that make sense? Well, I if would I, suggest, I, I would suggest it, giving it to somebody as like a gift. I've been trying that. There's a lot of the stuff that I did give back, but I tried giving it as gifts and they didn't want it and I didn't need it. So what am I stuck with it? And then right. they, they, they brag about, oh, your satisfaction is guaranteed, and, and you've got 30 days to send it back, and then when you do, then they squawk, and they make it all this money from all over, and then they squawk about stocking fees. Well, there have oh, been, I'm not, saying, I'm not saying you've break. done it, but we, we have had people who order stuff, and then they use it, and then they send it back. Like, if, if you order, like, something to, to make breakfast, like an oven or something, you, you use it, and then when you're done with it, you send it back. And that's not, that's not cool. Well, no. If you're going to, first of all, you guys, yeah, oh, I can't understand this. I can't understand QVC at all. When you buy something in the store, and you use it, it doesn't work right, you're, of course you're going to send it back. You have to use it a lot of times to find out if it works. Right, right. And, and... And that makes Sorry, sense, but but it, I'm, huh? Probably calling the damn lawyer. What? Judy, I'm explaining this to him. What? Go on. And, and, and I want you to know this isn't this isn't just you. I'm not like singling you out, but but there are, there yeah. are a lot of people that are doing the same thing, and I'm I'm just trying to make sure that when we send a bunch of stuff, that a bunch of it isn't coming back, and people like you make that hard for me. Uh. Well, it makes it hard for me, too, because I also have to go out of my way and, and repack it and send it off again. Do you think I like that? If it works right, if it fits right, I'll keep it. I kept a mattress. I kept a lot of stuff, that fireplace thing. Like I said to the, to the other guy, I said, I bought that one fireplace thing, which I sent back because they advertised that you can touch it. It's not hot on top, blah, blah. Right. And, and I get true. it. That's and then it said, it, don't touch it. And then it said, don't touch it, it gets hot on top. Right. So this you one I got dozen. Right. Yeah. All right, so what are you supposed to keep that? Oh, deal with it? Come yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got to be crazy in the head. Well, how much money do you get paid a month? Not oh, much. Oh. Not much. Oh, no, well, not much. Money. You think I got money to throw out and, and keep something that doesn't work right? Right. Right. Well, you sure run a terrible business. Are you still there? All right, I'm going to call her back. Whoever was in the background screaming to call a lawyer. Hello? Hi, this is Jim. I just wanted to bother you for, for two more seconds. I, uh, I was actually told about you by your grandson, Benjamin. What? You your, your, oh. your, your grandson, Benjamin, he, he's the one who told me to call you. And none of this is real. He set you up. My name is Jared, and I do prank calls, and you're on a show called Friday Night Cranks. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. How you doing tonight? Well, that's as much for QVC. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I am, I am not from QVC, and I am not Grandin. My name is, ja my name is Jared, sorry. And, uh... Your, your, grand, your, your grandson Benjamin contacted me, and he said that you were, he said you were awesome, and that he wanted to, you know, to, to prank you a little bit. So. Well, where are you from then? I live in California where? right now. What? Well, well, how can you be way over there and he's here? He it, it's a it's a show online, so he. Uh, he contacted oh, it's me. Online? Yeah, it's online. So, so he watches. He's I don't know how long he's been watching, but he said that uh, 
you know, he told me about your letter that you got and he wanted me to call you and mess with you for a little bit. So hopefully, I just wanted to tell you it was a joke. That way you aren't all pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was pissed off. At first, when I, even when I got that letter, I was pissed off. <laughs> yeah, I, the, the, the letter was probably legit. I had nothing to do with that. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh. And then I was just telling my daughter, and I said, the guy had the nerve to say, deal with it? <laughs> Yeah. See, I see. I was trying to, I was trying to get you mad, but I didn't want, I didn't want you to get too mad. I mean, I, I, I have a grandmother as well who who orders from QVC a lot, so I, I didn't, I know, I know how crappy some of their stuff can be sometimes. Well, it is the point. The point is, if it doesn't work, I don't fit. What are you gonna do? I deal with it. I yeah. thought, oh, I'd like to have you, and I put it right on your head. <laughs> well, you, you you have nothing to worry about. You can order as much as you want from there. I, again, I, I have no idea if that letter was was real or not. It probably was, but I just wanted to call you before before you went to sleep yeah. or whatever. So so you have a great night when you see uh when you see your grandson. Tell him I said hey, and maybe uh. <laughs> yeah, I will. I see him. <laughs> All right, you you have a great night. Yeah, you too. All right, thanks much. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.